Hi, welcome to Trailing Edge, where we discuss things that are so out, they're in. Nothing is more out than UFOs. I mean, mention UFOs at a party and people just fan out from you, rolling their eyes. Face it, aliens alienate. Uh, if there was a book called How to Alienate People and Fail to Influence Them, UFOs would have a very long chapter. Now, there are some celebrities, by the way, who claim that they have seen aliens. Uh, Mick Jagger, Victoria Beckham. Sammy Hagar says that the aliens abducted him and implanted something into his brain and downloaded it, but how can he tell? What's interesting about UFO sightings is that, that almost everyone describes the same thing, which is a sort of saucer, yes, saucer-shaped thing. From the side, it looks like a flying CD. Let me just recommend to you this wonderful book by Leslie Kane uh, called UFOs, Generals, Pilots, and Government Officials Go on the Record. In this book, Leslie Kane uses only sightings that were recorded on radar, seen by a number of people, and reports were made. In 1980, Sergeant James Penniston was in England. They saw a craft land, and he made notes. We here at Trailing Edge have done a drawing. Should I hold this up? Yeah. A drawing of Sergeant Penniston's, his drawing. And we have been working night and day to interpret this. What does this say? We enlisted a Mayan expert, but she made fun of us because she only deals with people who play footballs with people's heads. Okay, so here's our theory about this craft. You know the way we're sending um, recordings of the Beatles out into outer space just to let people know that we're friendly and cute? Uh, we think this might be a friendly message. So the first symbol we notice is something like, um, hi, we just want to say hi, we're a lot like you, we like to have a drink now and then, we like to smoke, in fact we favor martinis, we wear high-waisted clothes, and we have houses like you. Now, you're asking, where do we come from? Okay, think about this as something like, we are here in the mall. Okay, so here they are. They're saying that they're bigger than we are, <laughs> which we figured, and here we are. Now, how far away are we? Well, the closest habitable planet is... Okay, I got... So, the closest habitable planet is 13 light years away. No, it's not 13 light years, it's 13 million light years. It's 13, okay. The closest habitable planet is 13 light years away, which is 76 trillion miles, admittedly pretty far. So all in all, the trip would be somewhat arduous, but hey, we're getting there. In the meantime, it's lovely that they invited us. We here at Trailing Edge want to know what you think these beings are trying to convey to us on this ship. Our beloved viewers will no doubt have strong opinions on this and we would love to hear them because though you won't be a success at a cocktail party by talking about UFOs, here at Trailing Edge we love you.